obstacles to the construction of the 700 megawatts Zingeru hydroelectric power project may have been dismantled following the approval of additional 2.7 billion naira by the Federal Executive Council for the compensation and resettlement of the affected communities. Minister of Power Abakar Aliu announced this while briefing journalists after the council's meeting presided over by President Muhammadu Buhari. State House correspondent Adam Osombo reports that 765.9 million naira has also been approved for the completion of the NDDC forensic audit exercise. To be the second largest hydroelectric power station, the 700 megawatt Zungeru hydropower project is being constructed at $1.3 billion. 25% of the amount is to be contributed by the federal government and 75% a loan facility from the Chinese government through the China Exim Bank. However, issues of compensation and resettlement of the more than 22,000 persons in 98 communities have been the bane of the power project. And this obstacle has now been cleared by the federal government in its renewed determination to complete the project for enhanced power supply in the country. And the council graciously approved 2 billion seven hundred and uh, 40 million naira for the uh, updated rates of building uh, structures of compensation and resettlement of the communities affected by the construction of Zungero hydroelectric power uh, project, which will revise the subsisting uh, amount uh, from 19 a uh, billion six hundred and forty million naira to twenty-two billion three hundred and eighty million naira. The minister used the opportunity to reassure Nigerians that the Buhari presidency is not relenting in efforts at ensuring incremental power for enhanced social economic development of the country. Since July first. We have not gone below 4,000, but we are unable to reach 5,000 because of the gas issue. For instance, we have 4,600 as of yesterday evening. I have not even mentioned the fractions. It could be uh, up to 0.9. I, I believe you have been noticing some improvement these days. So we, we have not been sleeping. On his part, the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Omana Okon Omana, secured the Council's approval of additional funds for the completion of the NDDC forensic audit exercise covering 3,773 more projects. You recall that uh, for, for this exercise, a lead consultant was appointed uh, who had to work with 16 other field auditors and uh, the initial contract sum which covered the lead consultants and the field forensic auditors was 1.786 billion. Uh, these auditors had since uh, concluded their work uh, but in the course of carrying out this work it was discovered that they had to deal with many more projects than, than were uh, initially uh, envisaged. So for reasons of the additional number of projects and the additional time taken, uh, Council today approved uh, a revised additional uh, sum of uh, 765,974,975 Naira 50 Kobo to cover the additional works done by the forensic auditors. The Minister Umana, Okon Umana, is assuring the nation that as soon as the report of the forensic audit exercise is approved by the Federal Executive Council and a white paper release, all those found to have committed infractions will be called to account. And thereafter, the long-awaited board for the NDDC will be constituted as clearly stated by President Muhammadu Buhari. From the State House, Adamu Sambu, NTA News.